Hey everybody, Wes back again with another one of your weekly comic book news videos. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this Tuesday. Appreciate you guys. As always, if you're new, thank you for joining us for your first time. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for sticking with me. Again, we're trying to update these videos and kind of raise the bar as far as the production and the content and whatnot. So uh, feedback is very much appreciated. So. With that being said, we'll go ahead and get into the news. In the back issue market, we've seen a lot of trends that we've seen from previous weeks, although we have seen a few market corrections on some books and some books start to pull back a little bit, but it seems like more of an outlier than the norm. Uh, in general, we're seeing a lot of strong continued sales through major keys, especially Marvel as usual. Um, this week in particular, we've seen some strength with Eternals 1. Uh, again, that's the MCU property that I think people are getting excited about again, uh, now that we're actually starting to get MCU and Disney Plus releases uh, on the horizon. We're also, we also saw Heritage Auctions release the Promise Collection, which was a pedigree collection of some of the highest graded Golden Age books that have ever been released in one go. Um, that caused a lot of waves to the comic book, book collecting community. Uh, and I think that that probably helped with some renewed interest in Golden Age superhero books and Golden Age high grade books. Um, so I think that we're gonna see some lasting effects for that uh, into the future, into the near future, absolutely. Um, also, we're seeing, we saw a Speaking of Heritage, a uh, Marvel Spotlight number five, first appearance of Ghost Rider, and a 9.8 have a astonishing record sale, uh, which that was an exciting thing to see indeed. So um, also we saw uh, some other sales and some Marvel keys. We, do, we have seen some renewed interest in some Avengers keys, such as Avengers 48, first Black Knight, with Kit Harrington playing him, uh, and we also saw Avengers 8, uh, first Kang the Conqueror, with again some more renewed interest, uh, with that character kind of being teased it seems like in the Loki show. So those are some things to look out for. And also Tales, uh, Tales of Suspense 52, first appearance of Black Widow. Um, I think that with a lot, again, with a lot of these movies starting to be released, uh, and we know that the Black Widow movie is right around the corner, finally. Um, people are interested in that character again. So that's it this week for just a quick overview of some of the back issue market trends. We're gonna go ahead and get into the next segment. In industry news, we saw Venom 200 release last week with more than a dozen different variants with some of the best artists in the industry. That book made quite a bit of a splash and it seems like with fans, they are very happy with the book. So that's really cool. Uh, also, we had DC announce a one shot called Are You Afraid of Dark Side that's gonna be released in time for Halloween. So sound, sounds like a uh, fun read. Also from DC, we saw them celebrate Juneteenth with a collection of uh, some of their African-American characters and uh, that material is going to be available on their DC Universe online platform free to read. We also had the announcement from Eisner nominated comic creator Kyle Starks teasing two new titles, the six sidekicks of Trigger Keaton and Old Head. So those are some new titles to look out for that were just announced. A new comics to look out for this week. From DC, we have Infinite Frontier number one, and also Wonder Woman Black and Gold that's in the same vein of some of the red, white, and black comics we've seen. But in this sense, it is black and gold prominently featured throughout the comic. From Marvel, we have Gamma Flight number one, which is a new number one that's part of the Hulkverse. We'll also see Heroes Return number one, so those are two number ones from Marvel coming out this week. From the independent titles, from Image, we have Philadelphia 14, which is a title a lot of people have been having fun with. We also have the eagerly anticipated Spawn verse number one finally coming out. From Boom, we also have Good Luck, which is uh, Good Luck number one, which is another number one, which is exciting. 
Uh, also from IDW, we have a Sonic 30th anniversary comic, which that's pretty awesome. So, and that will do it for the news this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys found it informative. Again, uh, we're gonna keep working towards uh, upping the quality of the videos, upping, upping the content and what we're delivering to you guys uh, it is very much still a new thing. So we really appreciate you guys dropping by, hanging out and uh, watching these videos. So please, if you can on the way out, drop a like, a comment, um, give us some feedback and uh, what you guys thought about the video. And I hope everybody out there has a great week and enjoys this hobby as much as possible. Thank you guys so much. This is Wes signing out.